All right, so how many times have you thought or even said out loud while watching the Olympic Games, I think I could do that? Probably not the pommel horse or even riding a dressage horse, but there are a few events you probably think you could just try just to see how you compare to an Olympic athlete. How about, you know, ping pong, skeet shooting here in Idaho especially, trampoline? What about one of the most basic of athletic endeavors, like running? Well, this year, for the first time, the Olympics is holding a run for non-Olympians between Olympic races. It's a chance for, well, somewhat normal people from all over the world, a chance for them to step onto the world stage and showcase their stride. And a Twin Falls woman has been selected. Before she jumps on a plane to Paris, Hunter Funk was able to chase her down on Boise's Greenbelt. It's the rhythm of a runner. Deep breaths and big strides. For Kate D'Angelo, that rhythm has quite the track record. I have been running for seven and a half years now, running half marathons all around the USA, including two international half marathons in London and Aruba. Finding cool destinations to run 10Ks and half marathons are what keep her running the distance. It's been a little bit of everything, usually somewhere with a nice warm beach. D'Angelo was born and raised in Boise. She now lives in Twin Falls, and while the views are a lot different from her home base, less smoky for sure, it gives her the endurance to push towards the next big race. Eight months ago, I actually found out last November that I got my bib. D'Angelo learned she's been selected to run in Paris. I think over 400,000 people applied to try and get a bib, and only about 10% of the people who applied actually got one, so I'm feeling very lucky and very honored and privileged to be able to do this race because it's never been done before at an Olympics. She will run with 20,024 runners for the 10K. An additional 20,024 runners will run a full marathon. So I will get to run the streets of Paris in the middle of the night, which I am very much looking forward to. It's going to be so much fun. In a week, she'll make the trip. Then August 10th, between the men's and women's Olympic marathons, she'll get to run the same track. It's incredible because I watched the opening ceremony and it's really cool to think about, you know, seeing all that stuff on TV, I actually get to go there in person and see it. Luckily, it's called the City of Lights because those lights will be needed as the race starts at 11.30 p.m. It's going to be a long night for me, but it will be so much fun and I'm sure I'll be pumped up and ready to go. Kate says she's ready to run and enjoy all that Paris has to offer, with her mom rooting for her on the sidelines. Whether it's Parisian streets or local trails, she says running is important, and each step is a victory lap for her health. I encourage everyone to get out in nature and enjoy getting those steps in no matter what. It helps when the view is really pretty too, huh? This is also very true. <laughs> Well, she will get a medal after, not the same as what Olympians get, but it has the iconic rings displayed on it. And of course, we're going to have that follow up with her after the race, too. Does somebody, I assume she has to train for this. Yes. You, you don't know, just run out there cold. Yeah. You wouldn't want to. No, I wouldn't at all. She's been training for this for quite some time. Again, doing it for seven and a half years. She did have a setback, though. In December, okay. she donated bone marrow and oh, stem yeah. cells to a child with leukemia. So she says it was a long recovery process, not being able to lift five pounds after surgery. But just most recently, last week, she was sled pressing 340. So wow. Positive news there. That's a, well, that's a, I mean, a setback, but what a way to do right? that. That's amazing. So she says good it's for worth her. It. We're going to root her on and see how she does. We'll yeah. wait for that update when it comes in. Oh, Thank yeah. Thank you, Hunter.